Okay, <clears throat> we're here today in a cul-de-sac in Maryville, Tennessee to look at a lawn. Beautiful home. We're going to call this lawn MR's lawn. It's a, it's a fescue lawn. It's in It's in fair to good condition. Uh, we've got some Bermuda here along the curb. And then some little sprigs of Bermuda pretty much throughout the lawn. Probably just gotten going in the last few years. <clears throat> we've got what looks like some creeping bent grass right here usually comes in off the golf course it's tracked in off golf shoes this yellow grass here is rough stock bluegrass and it will it's a winter weed grassy type weed and our cool season lawns it'll die off as the temperatures warm and the days lengthen and the mowing proceeds the creeping bent grass though is a is a cool season perennial and it may or may not warrant a consideration of eliminating it eventually it may blend in well enough to suit the homeowner not sure whether this lawn is irrigated automatically or not <clears throat> I don't see any sprinkler heads along the edges that would be a giveaway so the front yard looks pretty decent the side is some thin areas that probably will grow on over and fill in. It's a place here that looks like it was taken over by some grassy weed. Maybe the homeowner tried to spray it out. This could be overseeded now and be up by the time the late spring window opens. This is fair to good back here as well. Along the along the fence here, it's it's thin. Either this may be a combination of a dog running, maybe leaves have lain here for a long time. There's evidence of some raking, recent raking. Also, it's kind of, kind of a shady area doesn't get any afternoon sun so may not have enough light to grow the same type of turf grass as is in the yard in the lawn proper probably want to go to a shade tolerant variety the next time any seeding's done and yeah I think we had I think this is some a strip that was probably suffocated by leaves haven't laid, laid too long but again just some some overseeding right away with the shade loving variety would take care of this and so now we're back to where we started all in all this is a lawn that's almost to a quality that we could put it on a <clears throat> a good maintenance program we want to do some soil testing so that we could customize the treatments so that we know that they would 
produce the best benefit. And so that's all I have to say about that. This is Mike Poole with Green Thumb Lawn Care. Signing off.